Hello friends and welcome back to Stranded Deep Alpha version 0.01 with your host Rongo the Bold. I don't normally spam out uh, episodes quite this fast, uh, but I, I was playing this game quite a bit and I wanted to kind of do a little uh, little bit of a how-to, a little deeper explanation than I did in my kind of uh, let's try sneak peek video. So I'm going to go ahead and start into the game and I wanted to We'll go ahead and skip through the uh, plane crash. If you haven't seen this plane crash, uh, check out my uh, initial video and uh, we'll go from there. Now, every day, every time you spawn, it is a new world, so uh, I'm already slightly sad about this one I already have here. Oh, okay. So, first thing I'm going to do, I am going to hop out and check out this Rex right under me. Because these wrecks um, will often have uh, something to loot near them. So let's we'll go down here real quickly. Uh, swim around. Yes, there's a toolbox. Excellent. A hammer. Awesome. All right, let's get some breath. Okay, so we've got a hammer. This is really good. All right. Now, I thought I saw another. Yep, I did see another ship over here. Or another thing, I guess it's not a full full ship. Oh, and you notice I do seem to be a little less buoyant with the axe, even though I shouldn't be able to swim with a sledgehammer. Alright, so let's go ahead, we'll hop up here. Come on. Get oh come on. Get in the raft. Now people have been talking about having problems um getting the raft to uh, the, the raft despawning um haven't encountered it yet but i haven't uh, really done a lot of island hopping yet either so so what do i do i want to kind of show you a couple of things the crafting is really interesting in this game um it's semi-intuitive i guess let's we'll leave this here okay first thing you're going to want to do is find some rocks. So there's a rock, beautiful. And while I'm here, I'm gonna smash this rock on, I'm gonna smash this rock. Oh, it's not gonna let me smash that rock, is it? Let me smash this rock? No. Ah, it tells me a lie. There we go. All right, so you can't smash it with a hammer, which you know kind of would make sense. So you you cut it with a knife, or you can use a machete if you're lucky enough to get a machete. These are potato plants. These are very important. <laughs> They're pretty much your first source of food in the game. So uh, so we've got some rock shards. Oh, I also have a regular rock. The next thing we want to find is a yucca plant. So they look like. Um, Little plants. Ooh, it's a ship over there. Excellent. Okay, we get a stick. We'll need that. And here's the yucca plant. So this is the yucca plant. You get four lashings off of it. So once you get it once, go ahead and give it a few moments, and usually you can get a second set off of them. So uh, kind of come remember that thing is. But in the meantime, what we're gonna do? We've got some stuff. So we've got a rock. Let's drop that. We've got a stick. Let's drop that. You want to drop everything together, basically. And a lashing. And one of those. So once you've got those, you can click and get a crude axe. Now, if you have uh, two rocks, you have, you'll have another option. Let me, oops. Don't hit escape. Um, right click to get out of that. Let me go find one more rock here. Rocks are precious. Precious precious rocks in this game uh, you need them to build um, a campfire like a, per a more permanent like a uh, campfire there we go there's a rock oh this island's loaded with rocks uh, these islands are all procedurally generated so you never quite know what you're gonna get 
So let's go back. Oh my goodness, we're rolling in rocks. We'll eat. We'll, uh... Alright. So where did our stuff go? Okay, so if you've got two rocks... Oops, I need my rocks equipped. Oops. Then when you click on it, you'll have a choice of making a crude axe or a crude hammer. You need a hammer in order to do any building of objects. So you can basically build foundations, uh, support posts, walls, and roofs, beds. and uh, Beds you don't need the hammer for. But uh, So if, if you didn't have a hammer, I mean, we, we lucked out and we got that hammer right off the bat. But now all we need is a crude axe. So let's go ahead and grab that axe. So we'll pick it up. And what I want to do is I want to find a little spot, you know, near our, where's our, uh, there it is over there. And we're going to basically bring a bunch of materials here. So what I'm going to do, uh, let's, uh, I'm going to leave a little pile of stuff sitting right here. I want to, I want my inventory to be empty. Uh, I'll leave these shards there as well. And uh, I can leave my, my tool here as well. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, uh, use my stone axe, and oops, I'm going to chop down a bunch of palm trees. So there's a bunch of palm trees on the island. Uh, I'll chop them down, and I'll be right back. Actually, let me go ahead and show you one tree here just so you can see how the trees work. So you, you'll knock the first part of the tree down. It'll drop coconuts, which you can eat and drink. Um, then it'll go in the trunk. We we'll eat the knock off each segment. We'll knock off the end here, and I'll knock off the other end as well, just so we can show you both ends. So on this end, when you do it, you get palm bunch. So we'll knock this piece off. It knocks the kind of head of the palm tree off, and then. What now you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, that piece and you're gonna harvest it, and it's gonna give you four palm fronds. Let me do this. Okay, now we got four palm fronds, and now each of these trunk, each of these logs, I'll go to this one down here. Each of these logs, when you chop it up, chop it up. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, you can look around while doing that, and it seems to work just fine <laughs> as long as you click on it first. Um, everything has a durability meter, so you can see right now my axe has got a little bit of durability loss on it. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and chop down uh, a bunch more trees, and I'm gonna basically bring them all over here. And I'll, when I come back, we can do some more building. We have gathered up a bunch of resources, and I'm gonna show you what I've done. I, uh, once you get really comfortable with the game, you can probably do this a little differently. But I'm basically putting everything in a big pile for right now. And I've knocked down three trees, and it's getting on, till, on towards nighttime now. So I'm going to gather up all these sticks that I got. And I'm going to pick up these coconuts. Each tree drops a bunch of coconuts. And I want to go. Oh, so that, that sound is inventory full. Jumpy jump. And I'm putting my coconuts here. I got this little pile of coconuts. I'm going to show you what we do with these coconuts as well. And I'll just go ahead and put these in here. This island was exceptionally rich in rocks. Uh, normally you're not going to find as many rocks. So I think I've got... In fact, let me pick up all my rocks and see just how many I've got. I have four rocks, which is really... Well, five rocks. Uh, I really want six. Uh, six would let me make a fire. A rock shard there. And a rock shard uh, underneath it, I think. So, anyway, let me show you what happens here. In order to do your building, well, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to make a spear. Crude axe, a crude hammer, a crude knife, and a crude spear as far as items in the game. Now, all of those you can make without using the hammer. The hammer is for all building, like, building objects. So when you have a rock shard, which again was to use a knife on a rock or to smash a rock somehow, click it. Gives me my cho my choices here of what I can do, and it tells you what you need in order to do it. So all these things are all in the piles; so they all kind of work together. So a crude knife is 
a rock, a stick, and a rock shard. A crude spear is a rock, two sticks, and a rope. And a campfire is five sticks. So what we're going to do is make a crude spear. So we'll get that. Craft that up. Now that's in there somewhere. That's the one annoying thing, is it? There it is. He's got to find it. There we go. Okay. Now this would be used to stab things. Right, I'll just put it here for now. You stay there. All right, now we're gonna build a little house. So I'm gonna pick up my hammer. You need to have a hammer equipped to build it. You notice everything turns blue to do that. Now, when you click your big pile of old stuff, you'll get your option. First thing is a foundation. So we're gonna get eight sticks to make a foundation. We'll click that and we'll put a little foundation. You'll kind of, it'll go blue where you can build it. So we'll put a little foundation right. Right here. There we go. I want to build like a two layer foundation. And we don't have enough rocks to. Yeah. Alright. Foundation. There we go. Marvelous. Now we got to build some walls. So I'm going to pick up some stick. Or I'm going to pick up some six. I think it's all I need. And I'm go over here, I'm going to drop my sticks. Oops. Select it. All right, pick my hammer, equip it again. Now I can do supports. You want your, your basically, in order to build it, you have to build it kind of on your foundation. Now you can also build a foundation in the water. You walk out into the water and you place one of those foundations down, you'll basically build a raft. I had not built one yet. I just know you, I, I tested it and it, it works, so. Uh, I just didn't build anything on top of it. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. So I'm building some supports. In order to build walls or a roof, you need to have a support. You need supports. Come on. There we go. And there we go. Craft that. Okay, so now, oops, there we go. It kind of snaps right into place. Now, in order to build... Um, uh, wall, oops, right click to get out of those. I got a couple of palm fronds and a couple of sticks. Actually, I'll just grab a four. I've got enough for two. I'm gonna go over here again and I'm gonna drop my foundation pieces or my uh, okay, and put my hammer back equipped. Click on those now. I can do a wall, so that wall is four sticks and two palm leaves. So let's go ahead and craft that wall. And I'm just going to snap that back there. You got to play with that a little bit. It's a little finicky. But basically, you got to get it between two of the supports, and you're good to go. All right, so I need a couple more sticks, or four more sticks precisely. One, two, three, four. Okay, go over here, and I'll drop them down again. Get my hammer ready. On the, click on the foundation. I want to build a, another wall. And we'll snap this. Like I said, sometimes it's a little funky. There we go. Left click to place it. Boom. If you right click, it will drop all the parts. So if you, do, if you want to cancel your uh, build, just hit right click and it will it'll drop off. So one, two, three, four palm fronds for a roof piece. One, two, three, four of those. Let's go over here. We'll drop our pod fronds, our sticks, equip our thing again, and we're gonna build a roof item, which is four sticks and four palm leaves. So we'll go up here, and you get each one covers that you know one segment. So we need two of those. And I hope we got. I don't have enough palm fronds left. Uh, one, two. Oh, I do. Three, four. Two, three, four. So we have enough to finish the roof off. Nice. What a beautiful view. Um, and again, click on the foundation. Or wall. You gotta kind of click kind of a combination of all of them. Uh, one more roofy bit. And left click. Perfect. 
There we go. It's awesome. Now, uh, I'm going to gather a few more. Oh, before I do anything else, uh, these coconuts. Um, you can hear that noise. That means I'm getting hungry. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I have to bring this up. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I survived one day. Uh, my, my, the temperature is 108. Oh, it's warm. Okay. I'm going to use my knife on a coconut. turns into a regular coconut. I'll keep whacking it. A drinkable coconut. Bring it up, equip it, and left. Uh, and now I'm gonna drop this, re equip my knife, or actually, re equip my hammer. Smash it a few more times. And now I've got coconut halves, which I can then. Um, Ah, better, much better. Okay, so we got lashings left and that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna gather a few more resources um, and then I will be back with you guys. So we are gathering a bunch more resources. I'm hoping to find a potato plant. I'm hoping to find a, one more yucca. This one has been, I've harvested this one a few times. Okay, maybe I can. It seems to regenerate the yuccas uh, fairly well. Oh, if we can find one more rock, we can make a fire pit, which would be awesome. I did have to, I did have to make myself another uh, stone axe during this time. I wore it out uh, knocking down trees. So um, we're also going to be harvesting some crab. is full. Let me get run over that base really quick here. We'll drop this stuff off. Drop off this rope. I, yeah, we have enough rope now to do it, to build what I was going to try and build. And let's go ahead and build, or go over here. We've got four. This is five. Dang, I wish I hadn't needed to make a new axe. Right, let's go back over here. Let's pick up our Krabby Crab. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves. Oh, let's, let's see if we can find one more rock. Yeah, we got space for it. Let's see if we can find one more. Rocks are, are rare. Rocks are way too rare. It'd be nice if it allows you to do like that smash, smash, smash to get some more rocks because uh, basically, you know. Most of the weapons and items all need rocks to craft them, um, which does make you need to go to other islands. So maybe that's what we will do um, in uh, kind of part two of this longer. Let's take a look there. So basically, that that uh, I, if you have a regular campfire, you add six stones to it, you create a fire pit which just lasts longer, uh, greater durability for it. You could get more life out of your logs, but we couldn't do it. So not a huge problem. Uh, I'm going to unequip my er, undo. I'm going to not choose that. I'm just going to use a regular, there we go. So I can click this and I can make a bed. So that's four ropes, four palm leaves and six sticks. So I'll take this in here. Can I put my bed in here? Is it gonna let me put my bed in here? No. I'll put my bed right next to it. Maybe right in front. Eh, eh, eh. Alright. Bed right there. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. And we can sleep, and it actually does advance time. So the next thing we're gonna do is gonna create a campfire. And we'll put our campfire. Alright, there we go. Campfire right there. And then, how do we light it? Of course, this. We'll take a crab. 
you guys have a better way of uh, cooking these without a fire pit, let me know. So if you hold down, uh, if you go to the F and you click, you choose left click and holding the F down, you can switch between modes. So here's my day survive, and this one is my um, uh, health. Um, my my, I'm, th I'm assuming that next one is the food, and then the next one over is water. I've been surviving on coconut so far, so it's working pretty good. 108 degrees in this humidity, ugh, with a fire pit. That would be warm. Eh, this is not working out very well for me. Oh, there we go. Now, I think when he turns red, he'll be ready to go. Mmm. Fresh crab right off the grill. That's going to be good. Alright, let's give him a try and see if he's cooked. That was good. That was tasty. Okay, so I think this gives you guys a pretty good first impression. Oh, you know what we'll do? Before we do anything else, let's go kill ourselves a fish. Just so you guys can kind of see that. All right, we got ourselves a fish. I'll take it. Okay, so you hold down the left mouse button and you're able to take that fish and put it in your hands. And again, it's the okay so in order to cook things properly just hold the Q key down when you place items in the fire so we'll cook this sardine up and it kicks it out awesome and then we just mmm yummy We'll drink some water. All right, folks. So we have survived, and we're doing pretty good. Oh, except I've got some cuts and scratches on my arm there. Oof, not looking good. But my hunger is all the way up. My thirst is all the way up. My health is good. I just need some bandages to wrap myself up with. Got myself a bed. Got myself a little house. Got a crude spear. I've got more stuff here. In order to uh, add things to the logs, you gotta have it in your inventory. Go over, click it, and. Oops. Have it equipped, and left click, and it adds it to the campfire. And that way you can uh, keep that fire going long into the night. Now, if you have rock, if you have six rocks, you can make a camp. Uh, a more permanent campfire then you can add a fire pit to it as well which is really nice so well I think that I've answered I've, I've got a lot of things so if you guys have questions uh, let me know in the comments um, I really like this game uh, looks pretty damn good uh, pretty impressed with it so far I got a lot of coconuts to eat oh and yes yes indeed you can find a dead Xbox with a Wilson inside of it uh, I have not found one yet but I have seen pictures of the Wilsons I want one all right, friends. Well, I went ahead and I just wanted to kind of sit around here for a while longer. Been watching the moon come up. Uh, I've got a little bug. I tried to use my sleeping bed, and it tells me I can only sleep at night, uh, which is nice because you know, I would consider this to be night. I mean, just between you and I. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I, I just wanted to you know kind of kind of finish off the, this day of building in this beautiful tropical paradise. Watching the moon rise, the fire going in our fire pit, and just wanted to say uh, I think there will be a let's play of this game. Um, I obviously it is just in alpha 0.01, but uh, it's got a lot of 
potential. I mean, we can save, we can load. So that's a big key point for uh, having a game that goes ongoing. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing more of this game, let me know. I am definitely going to be playing it. Um, whether I spam out a whole bunch of videos or I uh, do it over time, it's kind of up to you guys. Let me know in the comments. But in the meantime, this has been Wrong with the Bold playing Stranded Deep by Beam Game Studio. And I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, your family, tell your grandma. I bet she would just enjoy a lovely retreat here in a tropical paradise. And for now, ah, oh, look at that moon. I will see you guys later.